Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game preview, another special Kickstarter preview. And today I'm very excited to be talking about Package from Half Wing Games. This is for two to four players, take about five to ten minutes to play, and it's for ages 14 plus. And in Package, this is the absurd abstract game of package delivery. You're going to be rolling dice, you're going to be placing packages at different locations, and lots of other crazy things are going to be going on as you place those packages. You're going to be bumping people up, bumping people down, taking people cubes out of the games doing all sorts of stuff like that let's open it up and talk about it all right then we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of package before we get started i do want to mention this the promotional copy in front of me is take everything you see here with a grain of salt so package has a large rule book sheet that is double-sided and uh, it's got pictures illustrations examples and the rule sheet itself is uh, is pretty well done it should have you figure out the game pretty easily but you will be needing to refer to it quite frequently especially when you first start the game because there's a lot of little rules in the game where it's like if this happens then you can do this instead or if this happens then you might be able to do that but let me show you in general how the game is played so each player is going to pick one of the colors and depending on how many players you have you might not be able to pick one of the colors uh, because there's not enough cubes in the game uh, to pick whichever color you want depending on the player count because if you play at the higher player counts you have to pick i think it is pink or white uh, yeah, pink and yellow you're always going to be playing as in a two-player game, but then a three- and four-player game you can play uh, pink and yellow. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be rolling the dice on your turn and then going to that said spot. So for instance, if we're playing as green, green would go right here, and then they're going to place one of their packages on that spot. It's just as simple as that. Now, this is spot one, two, three, four, five. If you roll a six, you're always going to have some other options that you can do. So the first thing you can do, uh, you can add a package to the location you currently are on. So if we roll a six next turn, we would have the option to put another green cube at location four. Also, you can remove any location at the, uh, the location you currently occupy from the game. Uh, so this, this is kind of a big deal because, you know, this is going to score somebody four points at the end of the game. So if white were to go here, they could potentially remove that if they were to roll a six next time they get there. Uh, last, you can add a package to any location that you do not currently have a package at, which is good at the beginning of the game, but towards the end of the game, you're probably going to have packages at just about all the locations, at least in the lower player count. In the four player count, it might not be that case. Now, another interesting thing you're going to be able to do is if you ever roll a number and a location has that many uh, that many packages there, then you have the option to take one of those packages and move it to location one, which is only going to score somebody one point at the end of the game. So let's just say, you know, um, location three had this going on, and someone rolled a four. Since there's four packages there, they could choose to move one of these packages back to location one, knocking someone down two points. Uh, so there's also another rule. Because if you roll the location you're already on, you're going to be able to do some other special things. So if you roll the location number that you already occupy, you're going to place a package there. Then you can move a package either one space up or one space down, or you can switch locations. Which switching locations doesn't really going to do too much until the end of the game, but it is something that you have the option to do. Another rule in there is that if you ever place your third package at a location, you're going to get to do something special as well, which is that you're going to be able to knock down a cube from that spot one space down. So let's just say uh, you just placed your third package right here on this spot, then you would be able to knock this yellow person, boop, down one, which means they're going to get one point. But that also could create a string effect because now this person is going to be able to, boop, knock them down, knock someone else down a spot as well and if you knock someone out of the one spot then that cube is out of the game which means you're not going to be able to score any points but having three cubes on a location is not always good because if another player goes to that location and you have three packages there then they will be able to remove one of your packages from the game Anywho, you're going to continue to go until someone has placed all their packages. You're going to play one more round in which uh, the person who ended the game is going to be able to roll the dice and do something a little bit special. Then you're going to score the points. Now, how the scoring works is you're going to get X amount of points 
per package at a location. So what it means by if you're at location three, your packages are worth three. If you're at location two, your packages are worth two. If you're at location one, uh, so on and so forth. Now also with locations four and five, you are only gonna score points for the first three packages you have here. So for instance, if this were the case and I had four packages at location four, only the first three ones would score. So this one would score me nothing. So it's actually would be beneficial to say bump it down one if at all possible. You're also gonna score points based on the location that you are on. So if you're in a certain spot, you're gonna score that many points and you're also gonna get bonus points for how many packages you have at that spot. So this would be a really good spot for me to end at, but you're not always gonna control where you're ending. And last but not least, for each set of three packages you have at a given location, you're gonna score two extra bonus points. You're gonna see who has the most points, whoever has the most points will be the winner of package and that in a nutshell is how the game is played. Alrighty then, package from Half Wing Games. Come to a Kickstarter near you very, very soon. I'll be sure to post that Kickstarter link down below. Who might be digging this game? First and foremost, if you're in the market for a micro game, this one is definitely going to fit that bill. You know, all the components in the game you can fit into your hand. I mean, that's really nice. You could get rid of this box. You could put it in a Ziploc baggie. And aside from the rule booklet, which you probably have to double fold, you could fit this into just about any space. So if you're tight on space, this definitely might be one you want to check out. Also, it goes up to four players. And I'd say it plays about the same at the different player counts. Now, the game's going to be a little bit different at all the player counts. But it's not like Love Letter, where one uh, player count is particularly better than another player count so that's always a good thing last but not least if you were in the market for a micro game that actually has a little bit uh, more to it i think this one definitely would fit that bill i mean if you saw in the middle part i just kept going and if this happens and if this happens and if this happens and if this happens there's a deceptive amount of things going on in this game compared to your typical micro game, which might be a turn on to some people. So that is Package from Half Wing Games. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out that Kickstarter link down below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, how much do you love getting packages in the mail? For me personally, oh, I love getting packages so much. I get so excited every day when I get home. The first thing I do after, you know, kissing my wife and saying, hi to my kids if they're home is checking that door for packages and then I'm oh so disappointed when there's not packages now that being said when there's kickstarter packages I'm less excited I'm like oh man it's a kickstarter game we gotta do it but some of those are good some of those are bad but when I get the published games oh that's the best but uh, let me know in the comments below packages do you love receiving them and as always thanks for your time YouTube